Hello and welcome to this course. This course is machine learning basics and it's completely for beginners and here we'll be learning about TensorFlows and Keras libraries and also we'll learn a lot about you know, how to import data set, explore data, pre-process the data, how to build the model, uh, how we are going to set up the layers, how we are going to compile the model, train the model and we'll evaluate accuracy and at last we'll make predictions we'll be going on with hands-on practical sessions for different different use cases so today here we have a basic classification that is something known as the hello world of machine learning so here we'll be classifying images of clothing which i hope you uh, you all have seen before or have experienced before in most of the e-commerce website where they recommend um, as per your choice so we'll be doing a small part of that and uh, here we'll be training a neural network model um, which will classify images of clothing like sneakers shirts boots and uh, bags okay and uh, I will try to make you understand as much as possible but uh, in case you are not able to get anything you can just put up in the comment section uh, I will surely do a follow-up and okay fine let's get started with this so our very first thing is when we are working on tensorflow is that we have to import tensorflow and this is completely using Python so I hope you already have some prerequisite knowledge about Python in case you don't have uh, you can visit w3schools.com uh, they have some great resources for the beginners and you can understand you can grab a good concepts about Python over there all right so here first of all we'll try to import uh, tensorflow specific version using try and accept blog which is an block of python so let's say try and and one thing i'm using a uh, collabs uh, google notebook so you can go for collab.dc.google.com where there you can find a uh, collab notebook that is a great notebook which has um, their gpu as well as uh, tpu based runtime so that's great for use all right so yeah a try block along let me like put it today tensorflow um, so specific version and i want version which is 2.x all right and i have try let's put accept accept we are going to accept the exceptions okay and pass all right so let's execute it you can execute either through pressing this button or by putting pressing control and enter button from your keyboard all right tensorflow 2.x selected fine now let's add a code section where we will be importing libraries from future import is absolute underscore import you are getting it comma uh, we will need division comma print function got it and last unicode literals i'm getting it now i'm not getting it unicode score yeah got it. unicode literals so we have imported this and now let's import tensorflow so let's pass import tensorflow as tf and from tensorflow like 
I'm going to import an API of TensorFlow that is uh, Keras import Keras and uh, also some helper libraries that I will be needing here numpy and matplotlib um, import numpy as np and import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt done and uh, to check which version of um, TensorFlow we are using uh, you can just put up the print function um, print tf dot sorry tf dot version okay now let's press control enter and execute this So we have imported all the libraries and the version of TensorFlow that we are using that is 2.0. Alright. So we have imported all the libraries. We have our framework ready. Now our first thing we have to import a data set. So we'll be importing one of the famous data set that is kind of known as hello world data set in machine learning that is known as a fashion aminist data set. Okay, I will just like put up a text over here. Uh, that is your fashion feminist data set. Uh, all right, so we'll be importing fashion feminist data set, which contains around 70,000 grayscale images of 10 categories. And the image is of 28 by 28 pixels of clothing and uh, is like uh, it contains 100 here we have around 70,000 images so we'll be using 60,000 images for training and 10,000 images for evaluating that our network learned the classification it is doing accurately. Um, you can access the fashion amnest directly from the TensorFlow, import it and load it, the fashion amnest dataset directly from TensorFlow. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, let's type fashion underscore amnest is equals to so that data set is present in keras dot data sets dot fashion underscore and this case i've got it already all right and uh, since i want let me put up put up train underscore images I'm explaining what I'm doing here train underscore labels okay this train underscore images and train underscore labels are two arrays and uh, these are the two arrays of the training set uh, the data model that is used to learn okay and uh, this model is tested against the test set the test underscore image and the test underscore label arrays okay and we have comma test underscore images comma, test underscore labels equals to fashion underscore amnest dot node underscore data and opening and closing bracket all right so
so using this we can load our data set from numpy arrays so let's press control enter it has started downloading so the images are 28 cross 28 numpy arrays with pixel values ranging from 0 to 255 0 is for black and 255 is for the extreme white and the labels are an array of integers ranging from 0 to 9 where like we have different classes of clothing uh, 0 represent t-shirts or top 1 represent trouser 2 pullovers 3 dress and so on last is uh, 9 which is an ankle boot okay these are the classes that we have and this each image is mapped to a single label since the class name are not included within the data set store them here to use a letter where we are going to plot the images so let's do it put up a code section class underscore names equals to so we have let let us give the class names that is t slash shirt slash top so let me just um skip this part so that i can do it all right so i have already put the class names okay and uh, let's run it all right so each image is mapped to its single label and the uh, our data set is ready now let's explore the data so let's explore the data like let's see how many images do we have in the train images let's say for that let me put train underscore images dot shape all right so likewise there are 60,000 levels in the training set and uh, let's see the length of the train labels to see let me type len command and that's train underscore labels and let me press control enter so it's showing 60,000 and the uh, earlier we have seen that the shape is 28 cross 28 where 28 cross 28 uh, images and length of the training levels is 60,000 and each level is an integer between 0 and 9 so let's see train underscore labels see so we have label which is between uh, 0 to 9 okay so there are 10,000 images in the test set again and each image is represented as 28 cross 28 so let's see our test image in training image we have 60,000 in test image let's see test underscore images dot shape so this should give us 10,000 images with 28 cross 20 resolutions yes perfect it's giving us which is 10,000 images that is for test set and 28 cross 28 pixels and the test set contains 10,000 levels so let's check that out to check the labels that we have in the test set test underscore labels and to find the length I will put len and close it up press enter perfect we have 10,000 images and let's say if I have to 
fine uh, let's say test test underscore labels press enter we're getting it from 0 to 9 all right now let's pre-process the data uh, with the data that we have must be pre-processed before training the network if you inspect the first image in the training set you will see that the pixel value fall in the range of 0 to 255 so let's first pre-process the data we have plot dot figure and then closing bracket plot dot I'm sure train underscore images let me put as the value zero initial value and let's put the color bar color bar Closing bracket, then plot dot grid. Let's put it as false and plot dot show. All right. So this is the this is I think sneakers. Well, in our training images, in the having zero level that is sneakers, and uh, this is the figure we are getting after putting up the color bar all right in the next session we'll be learning how to build the model so in this session we have learned how to import data set how to explore the data how to pre-process the data and how to yeah up till that from uh, next uh, in the next session we'll learn how to build the model all right thank you very much